Hi and welcome to Low Content Resources. My name's Ron Saker and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to export the Sudoku Puzzles Part 2. Um, so, we're obviously going to start the software if you haven't already still got it running. You'll want to click on the uh, in the top to tasks and then step one is we're going to go uh, print this puzzle. Step two, select a puzzle layout and step three, select a layout item and then set some other uh, variables once we're in the software and then we can just sit back and wait for them to all be printed. Okay, so just before we get into that, I want to show you in the uh, folder where the uh, Sudoku templates are created, all right? These here, you never, ever, ever have to open them. In fact, please don't even try opening them because the software is the only one that will open these files. Um, I've had a couple of members actually try to open these and complain that they couldn't find the right file association and all that. Uh, so that's just a, a tip for you newbies. Don't even try to open these. Let the software do it. Okay, so now I'll get off my soapbox and we'll go back to the nice little picture. We're going to bring up the software. Yeah, now I've got a weird... Um... <sighs> yeah, okay, so we're going <laughs> to click on tasks, print this puzzle, and you'll notice that it's going to say there's no puzzle to print. Why? Well, because we haven't actually made the association with it yet. So what we want to do is go to File, Load a Puzzle, go here to the 100-101, alright? Select that. Now we've got a puzzle to, to uh, print. We go to Export, print this puzzle. Now we get this beautiful uh, dialog box here uh, and according to this the instructions we need to print this puzzle which we've done now we've got to select the puzzle layout which is this one here uh, so the one that this whatever comes up I'm not sure what will come up as a default uh, we don't want this the only thing we want is the puzzle itself so you can actually come open up the, the drop down, click on puzzle and it should give you just a puzzle square on its own. And if it doesn't look like this one, then on the uh, left hand side here, make sure the left is one, top is one, width is 200 millimeters, height is 200. And you can actually save this as a layout so that you never forget what it is again. So I'm even going to give this a name. Uh, no, I've actually just overwritten what was in there before, so that's okay. It's saved as puzzle, so now I'm going to be I'm good to go. But you could actually save it as uh, oop, some coffee, Sudoku um, Puzz. I don't know if you get any more letters in the puzzle, perhaps. Oh, look at that, Sudoku Puzzle. Okay, bingo. Now we're using this, we've kept this for our Sudoku, so whenever we come back in here, when we want to uh, select a puzzle layout and we're doing Sudokus, then we can just go straight to here. Okay, now that we've done that, we can actually look at the print preview to see what it looks like. Okay, so that's the what the puzzle looks like. And I won't actually go into what it's going to look like with the answers because that's going to come up in video three. So now that we've got this here, that's fantastic. We can go back up here, go back to layout, go into tasks, go to export. Don't go to print because that'll go to your to your printer. Go to export. The resolution is 300. We don't want to change that. How many puzzles do we want to generate? If you've let the software go all the way through, you'll actually want 5,000. But in this particular case, for the sake of the um, tutorial, I've only got 
how many have I got? Let's go from here down to the bottom. Come over here. I have 98. So we go back to the software. Software. And we can put in 98. What's the first puzzle number? Guess what? 100101. Don't touch any of these unless you want to export in these GIF, JPEG, you know, bitmap, or to some other system. The graphic width, because it's uh, it's actually 202 millimeters, because we set this the whole thing for 200 and one uh, one millimeter there, one millimeter there. Okay, so now that we're happy with all that, we're going to click on export. It's now going to ask us where we want to save these. Don't even bother trying to create a new folder. I have no idea why this won't work for me. And if it doesn't work for me, it'll probably not work for you. I just let this get uh, built into the uh, default folder. So I'm just going to click on save. I'm going to go into the default folder. And, you know, this is where the software, when you open the software, it's just going to print them in here. Um, so once you've done that, you want to, um, like I did, I've shown you in the, uh, the video, how to create thousands of videos. I showed you how to create a folder to put these into. Uh, we can go and do that. In fact, it looks like it's printed them all out. No, not quite. Okay. So what we're going to do while that's doing its little job is we're going to go into, uh, yeah, oh, might as well stay here. Go into assets. Well, you'll go wherever you want to go. But I'm going to go in and into my puzzles, and I'm going to go to my Sudoku, and I'm going to create a new folder. This is going to be uh, demo puzzles. I'm going to open that up. And then we're going to go back to the folder where we were. Uh, da -da 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 puzzles, crossword solutions. No, not crossword solutions, you silly boy. Ah. Getting lost on my own computer. Here we go. And it looks like it's actually created them. So now we're going to, yep, 98 of them. So now we're going to hit Control X. Then we're going to use the back button and go back to, no, we don't want to go there, but we want to go into here. We're going to drop those in as the puzzles. Then up here we're going to open up a new folder and put in solutions because that's where we're going to put the solutions go back to assets go back to crossword express and that's it okay so nothing more to see we've done everything so we'll be back in part two catch you soon bye for now